Red line derailment continues to cause problems, and tonight the T says it may not be fully up and running for some time. The MBTA's general manager says three signal areas were badly damaged, and there's no timeline on those repairs. Christina Rex is in Boston tonight, where riders say the T needs to improve. The MBTA director says for riders to expect 15 to 20 minute delays on the red line, but people we spoke to say it's been much worse. The Nothing short of chaos to hitch a ride on the red line at the JFK UMass stop during rush hour. It's just terrible. It's ridiculous. A 50-year-old train car that derailed Tuesday caused major damage to the signaling system, which alerts trains when to travel to the next station. Since, riders have seen commutes up to six times their usual. I've been late to work a uh, minimum 45 minutes each day. MBTA General Manager Steve Poftak says 150 T employees are working 24 7 to repair the broken system. But in the meantime, the ride won't be pretty. Part of the reason that we have the current delays is that we are running, we are running the trains more slowly. Riders are only willing to give the T a little leeway. It's come a long way, but with that said, it's still unacceptable. I mean, it's, they're still working on it now. It's probably going to take another few days. What's the holdup? But with a broken line and nightmare ride home, riders feel the incoming July 1st fare hikes are anything but fair. No, it's not right. The real trains, you want to raise the prices? Give us a break. Give us a break. The MBTA doesn't know when it will have all those problems caused by Tuesday's derailment fixed, but they expect to provide an update on Sunday. On the T, Christina Rex, WBZ News.